Hey everyone, this is Eric with McLaughlin's RV and Marine, and we're going to take a quick peek at a Jayco J Flight SLX 8212 QV. Alright, so we're going to take a look at the outside on the 212 QV. Uh, starting up front, you're going to have a power tone jack standard on this unit, as well as two 20 pound propane tanks up front as well. Uh, as you can notice here, you have this kind of diamond plate protection here, just really nice driving down the road, you know, if you're camping off road, going down gravel roads. It helps keep the rocks from dinging up the tin on your camper here. So, as you come around the side of the camper, you're gonna notice that this is equipped with a prep for a side camera. Once we get around to the back, you'll see too that they do have a prep for a backup cam as well. And then through here, you're gonna have a full pass-through storage. So another feature that's standard on the Jayco J Flight SLX series is a black tank flush. What that's going to do is you're going to hook a hose up to it and then when you go to drain your tanks down there it'll actually spray out your tanks and help keep all that clean, help keep your sensors on the inside uh, reading accurately as well as you know preventing buildup of things in your black tank. Uh, city water connections right here and then right here you have an outside shower as well. So the outside shower on these campers, uh, it's not just gonna be a spray hose, you get hot cold water with an actual shower head. Uh, where well, that's nice, especially if you're camping out at the lake, something like that, before you go back inside your camper, you're gonna be able to spray yourself off so you're not tracking dirt and things like that throughout the camper. This is kind of your power hub here. This is where you plug in on a site. You know, if, you have one, if they have 110 hook up there, and then if you have a satellite or a cable input, you hook that up right here as well. And then your fresh water tank here. As you come around the back side of the camper, as I mentioned previously, it does come with a backup camera pre-wiring. Um, so you're pre-wired for backup camera and side cameras. And then you'll notice on the tail lights on this unit that you don't just have your tail lights on the bottom, they actually do go across the top as well. It's called J Smart Lighting. Uh, so what that does is if you're going on the highway, you put your blinker on, you hit your brakes, it doesn't just engage your lights on the bottom here, it'll actually engage your lights on top as well. Uh, pro tip if anyone who's doing camping, back here is a nice place to store hoses, things like that. Uh, there is a cap that goes over this, it's just not on it right now, but you can tuck hoses, things like that back in there, you're not taking up storage space anywhere else in your camper. This unit does have four stabilizing jacks. They're manual. Um, when we go to shows, things like that, easiest thing to do, if you have a 12 volt drill, just run the 12 volt drill, get your stabilizer jacks down, it goes super quick, super easy. You'll notice here you have two outside speakers as well. Um, so you can zone your radio, stereo, you know, say if you're watching TV out here, put your TV can mount right here. You have an output here for your cable satellite. So if you're watching a football game outside, watching a hockey game, uh, you can just zone your sound for the outside. It doesn't necessarily have to be inside. You can do inside, you can do outside, or you can do both. And then you have your 12 volt plug in here as well. As with all Jayco's, they come with American made Goodyear tires. Uh, great thing with Goodyear is Goodyear's everywhere. You know, if you're camping remote, you know, going through small towns, things like that, chances are if they have a tire place, it's going to be a Goodyear place. Um, it's not going to be some kind of knockoff brand that you have to order directly off the website. Uh, another nice thing is underneath here, the fenders aren't mesh, they're actual metal. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that mesh ripping, uh, kicking up rocks, damaging the underside of your camper. That metal is going to keep everything nice and clean and uh, keep prevent from damage happening. Uh, so next we'll take a look on the inside. Alright, so now we're on the inside of the Jayco J Flight SLX8 212QB. Um, just one thing to know with this camper, there's no slide. It's a smaller camper, very lightweight. Uh, it's a great couples camper or you know, a couple that's camping that occasionally has a grandkid or two with. It's a really nice unit. It's a really nice setup uh, for that type of camping. As you can see here, the dinette, dinette table folds down into this area to where you can make this into an extra sleeping spot. Um, also speaking of sleeping spots, this folds out to a jackknife. What's kind of nice that maybe people don't think about when you have this jackknife out, say if there's four of you sitting here, you have an extra person, you want to play cards, something like that. When this table's up, 
as you sit here, you're sitting right at the table. So having that jackknife fold down actually puts you in a nice spot to just be able to kind of, you know, play games, communicate, hang out with, with everyone that's in the camper. Uh, looking up here, this would be where your TV bracket would mount. Um, so if you want to mount a TV here, you have your 12-volt hookup, or not 12-volt, you have your plug-in up there, and then you have your um, cord for your satellite or cable, whatever you're hooked up to. And then right here is kind of your head unit where you run all your sound. Uh, like I mentioned, when we're outside, you can zone it to be outside, you can zone it to be inside, you can zone it to be both. So a lot of options on where you have your sound there. Another thing just to note while we're in here, a lot of windows. Uh, small camper, a lot of windows, really important. Just kind of opens everything up. Makes you feel like you're in a way bigger unit than you're actually in. And you aren't going to have to use your lights as much. Um, you know, it's a pretty sunny day today, but either way, all these windows, it just really lights everything up on the inside. Uh, for a small camper, they do a nice job with storage. You have a huge overhead storage compartment on this side, as well as another very large overhead storage compartment here. Um, so for a, a camper of this size, you're really not lacking in storage. As we kind of keep moving throughout the camper, you'll see here again, a lot of pantry storage right here on this side as well as pantry storage above the sink, more storage below the sink, and then drawers for silverware and things like that also below the sink. Uh, so overall for a camper that's hitched to bumper just over 25 feet, you have a lot of storage. Um, another nice option that we put on this is a 12 volt fridge. So nice thing with the 12 volt fridge is you get an extra two cubic feet of storage. Um, the gas electric is still an option that you can do, um, but with the 12 volt fridge, you're getting an extra two cubic feet and you're also getting a more efficient refrigerator. Um, they cool top down, uh, generally speaking, normal day, you can get it from the outside temperature to cold in about four to five hours. Um, and then once they're cold, they hardly take any energy at all. Uh, they're very, very efficient. Um, so that's a nice upgrade that's on this unit. Uh, in the kitchen here, you have a three burner cooktop, you have an oven, you know, your overhead fan, your light, standard microwave. Um, like I said before, up here, plenty of storage. You have your double sink, so it's separated. You know, if you're doing some cooking or dishes or anything like that, you have a separated area. It's not just one big sink. Over here is kind of your control panel. Control your awning, your lights, check your tanks, check your battery. All that is right here. Super convenient. It's all just in one area. It's right by the door. Send your bathroom in here. It's a little tight, but the way it's laid out is actually pretty nice. Uh, you have your sink, your storage, and then you have your shower tub here with a skylight that gives your head extra room. Uh, what I mean by conveniently set up is even though it is small, I can sit here, plenty of room. I'm not super tall, but even a guy that's 6'4", six, 6'5", six, could sit here pretty comfortably and you're not going to be running your knees or your feet into the shower. And then you do have a nice little toilet paper roll holder right on the door. So then in the bedroom here, uh, you're going to notice this little guy right here. So this camper is actually already equipped with a solar panel. Um, this is kind of your area where you can check on, you know, how full is my battery, how much is it charging, uh, any of that kind of stuff is all going to be right here. So just really easy and convenient. You can take a look, see how full your battery is, see how fast it's charging. Um, you know, most days you shouldn't have any problem uh, with your solar being able to keep up, keep your battery charged. You know, if you get in a weird situation where it's all clouds for a week straight, then you might have some issues, but overall, uh, this solar panel is going to have no problem keeping your camper charged, you know, being able to run your lights, run your fridge, all that. You're not going to have any issues at all. Um, it's going to be really efficient and really good at keeping everything charged. If you look over here, so you have a TV bracket here and you have this kind of black, kind of looks like a puck. Um, as we were walking around the outside, I pointed out the TV area out there. What's nice with this is you can have it here. Or say if you want to just take this TV, put it outside, all you got to do is just snap this little guy out, put it on the puck outside. As far as storage, in the bedroom, 
you have a nice spot here. Uh, there is a curtain rod in there so you can hang clothes or you can just stuff things. That's gonna be on either side. And then you do have a nice overhead storage here as well. Another thing Jayco does that's really nice is under your bed. You can see there, I just flipped it up. It's on gas struts. You don't have to sit there and hold it when you're trying to stick things under there. It just stays up by itself. And then I mentioned outside the caps that go on that rear bumper. That's what these guys are. All right, so that has been kind of a quick overview of the Jayco J-Flight SLX 8 212QB. Um, if you want to come take a look at this in person, uh, it's at our Fargo location at 325 25th Street South. Or if you have any questions, give us a call at 701-237-6046. Thanks for watching.